Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over a bunch of wall designs. So guys, first of all, just a little tip for making very simple walls. As you can see here, the wall blocks now connect into a nice flat surface. They didn't used to do this. It used to just be these poles all along with gaps in it, and it used to look pretty terrible. But now it forms a nice flat surface with a little bit of an indent, so it gives you a nice detail. So you can do that pretty easy with these blocks here. And like I've done over here, guys, if you do want a pole in the middle or anywhere, you can just place a piece of string on top. It's barely visible, and it just... Uh, puts that in there so you can do that anywhere you want just like that so moving on from those very basic walls you just stick some uh, poles up with a slab on the top with a bit of brick it's pretty simple but it is very nice and does actually look like a wall so that is fantastic this next wall here you don't have to use sandstone I just think the sandstone looks pretty cool so I've got smooth sandstone with some upside down stairs on the top to give it a little bit of detail there place in a bunch of iron fences sorry iron or bars and uh, then behind that you can stick a bunch of leaves just up like that and from the front here it looks really really cool this would go well in a victorian or modern city i think that would uh, go very nicely indeed moving on from here over to the next wall we have a bit of a crazy wall now what i'm going to do as we go along is actually get some bone meal and just show you the difference it makes when you start bone milling things. So we have um, a few different like details and stuff in here. We have the cracked stone bricks and the mossy cobblestone. That just breaks it up a bit uh, instead of just having the same texture everywhere. So now we have acacia logs going up here. And you can use a string here as well to stop the vines growing around, which I'm going to do here. I'm going to put a uh, string here, here, and here. Stops the vines growing around there. I don't like them growing here either, but I can't really stop that. Um, so that's unfortunate. But anyways, uh, we have fire in there. We just have that on a netherrack brick. A netherrack block, sorry. And that will burn forever. Um... You gotta be careful where you put wood near that. I think it's safe there. I'm not too sure. I play with fire tech turned off because I'd rather put fire in really cool places and not have it burn down my entire village. But yeah, and then you can just sprinkle in a bunch of uh, a bunch of leaves around. And yeah, like I said, you can place string now to stop this stuff growing wherever you don't want it. And yeah, bone milling things up just makes an awful lot of difference. Just changes the wall up completely. Like as we move over here, this wall looks pretty boring. And like I said, we need to add in some of the different blocks. So we need to get, uh, we can place in some bone meal to start off with. That will just bring it to life. Look how much better that looks already. And now look at again with all the blocks replaced with the alternatives, the mossy cobblestone, the mossy stone bricks, and the cracked stone bricks, and that turns it into a much, much better wall. So what I've gone with, guys, I haven't really explained yet, but we have just like little pillars on the ground here. You can also place these in front if you would like. Sometimes it looks better, sometimes it does not. I'm going to place them in now that I'm looking at this. I think it will look a little bit better. Um, and then we have some trapdoors over the top to make it look like there's like a connection under here with this... Uh, this beam uh, connects to this beam here, and then we have the andesite slabs and the stairs going along the top to make like a little uh, effect on the top there. So that is a nice wall. So guys, when I bone meal in front of walls and structures, I tend to take out most of the flowers because I think they look kind of a little bit silly. Sometimes you can have flowers, other times it's best to just have grass, I think. And yeah, I think that looks really cool here. So this is not a full wall design. This is just a concept to get your guys creative juices flowing. So I'd like to see what you can do with this sort of design and take it to the next level. So post your designs based on this one into my Twitter and maybe I'll show them in a future video or uh, whatever. That would be cool. I want to see what you guys can do with this concept with the double pillars and the oak and the cobblestone it's all this is pretty pretty normal stuff but um yeah i like having the the double walls here the double structure poles up the front here and yeah so like i said this doesn't look great but i think you could do a lot with it so that's the idea there so guys just want to quickly interrupt this video to let you know that if you subscribe to this channel you'll get to check out a bunch more minecraft content we also play modded minecraft on a monday satisfactory on saturday we have a bunch of tutorials and in my let's play world we are building a victorian city we're building all sorts of things like cathedrals lots of awesome buildings government buildings underground lairs and you know just just awesome stuff so come check it out 
So I think you get the idea with the bone meal now. I'm going to leave that off the rest of them so we can look at the designs closely. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, we have a few vines on here, a bit of mossy cobble, things like that, like I said, to mix into here. But on this one, we just have a few stone pillars going up like this. They go uh, stair in one, then we go up by two blocks and stair in again, one block and then stair back outwards here to make this little pattern on the top. As you can see, most of these walls have these like old school patterns on the top. Um, I think that that most walls would have pretty much had something like this along the top. So yeah, that's looking pretty cool. And then we just have spruce wood at the back there. And yeah, this one's a very close to together with the pillars. And I think it looks very nice. So moving on to the next one here, guys, you can see that this is very similar to that one. The only difference is it's made out of oak. You can put oak and spruce wood together. Once you have like the oak actual log in here, then you can use the spruce wood around it because they're very similar in color. It actually looks better than having the oak wood things there. And then when you have the oak, you can have it coming out here like the beams are going in this direction now. So they're obviously balanced on top of the stone there and they're holding it up coming out that way. And just chuck some buttons on the end. You can use the blackstone buttons as well. They look pretty cool. And some of the different wood buttons as well. And then again, we just have this little gap here. So it's nice to add in little things like this, have a stair here. So it looks like it's jutting out just a little bit, but not the whole thing is jutting out. Then we just have a few switching it up between the uh, normal stone, the normal stone bricks and the cobblestone really really makes it stand out. So if you are wanting to make a rather large wall, this is one of the designs you could go for. Now, in this, I think I have put in too much of this. So I left it in to show you that you can sometimes over detail. I think taking some of these out because they're very contrasty. I think we could fill these in like that. And obviously you could chuck in a bunch of the cracked stone that would help out the uh, the constant stone brick color here. If we just stuck in a bunch of these around the place, I think that could really help out this actually now looking at it, but I think we should definitely take some of those out. They've, yeah, looking back, that looks much better. Looks much better now that we've taken some of those out. Uh, we do not want that in there. But anyways, what you have is you have like a stone brick coming up here. So this is all stone bricks. Some of it's weathered away. Some of it's got a bit a bit funny here. That's why we have the normal stone. And then in the middle, you want this to look like there was never any stone bricks in here. It's just like concrete looking type of thing. So we don't have any stone bricks in that middle bit. And that just separates it out a bit. We have big pillars at the bottom, two wide, and then a three gap with the nice arch in the middle. And then at the top, um, we've just gone along and on these ones here, we've put in little supports here for the top. And then you have full blocks and slabs to create the up and down pattern at the top. And I think that's pretty nice. Okay, the next two walls are a little bit interesting. Well, the, the one after that's very interesting, but let's just go for this one. I actually really like this uh, this black stone. I've, I am struggling to build with it, but when I do, I think it looks absolutely fantastic with fire and the soul lanterns. It just really, really brings it together. So we have a random floor here just to show you because you wouldn't put this on grass, obviously. Um, I think this would be in a very dark place. And uh, on the sides here, we have the polished basalt for the pillars. And on top, we just have polished black stone slabs. Then we use the black stone bricks here to make the rest of this and put a couple of stairs here. And again, with the nether rack on fire all the time, light it with a flint and steel. Then crack some chains in here with some soul lanterns and just a bit of detail with the stairs here and some slabs on top of that. And it's looking quite nice. I think that's a really cool design. But uh, yeah, hold your horses for this one. So this might be one of the weirder things I've ever created. And the colors are just so interesting that somehow this works. If this was in some sort of theme park or candy land or I don't know, in the forest, Hansel and Gretel, I, I honestly don't know. This is so super weird. But something like this could work, I think. Now, I just want to point out a few things. Again, with the trapdoors here, just making it look like there's something holding it in here, like maybe a little um metal bar or something obviously this doesn't look metal but something um strapping this into the wall the pillars into the wall we capped them off with the warped stem uh the warped slab sorry and the crimson stem here is what we're using for the pillars now on the back i've just sort of randomized the stripped warp stem here so you can just sort of go like this place them all over the place uh, just keep randomizing them and then eventually you just get this sort of strange pattern. So that is not working for me. 
take them out, switch it out. That's not working for me either. Then I can switch that, do that. Yeah, and you just get like a random pattern like that to make it all look very interesting. But like I said, I don't know. I don't know if you guys will like this one. It's just a bit interesting. And we're back down to reality now, my friends. This one is just to show you a few ideas you can do. You can build up these like little walls in front of the major wall like this. So right here we have the stone built up. Obviously, you want to put in the, uh, the, the cracked stone bricks and mossy and all that. That would look pretty cool. And yeah, so here we actually have wall blocks. These are cobblestone walls. So it brings it in a little bit from the slabs there. So it gives it a little bit more depth. It's a little bit funny back here, not connecting in there. And you can put iron bars in the middle of these. So let's just quickly show you if you have a nice wall of these, you can put the bars in there and it won't change the, the form of it. So if we just go here, sorry, let's place those there. That will keep it nice and flat like that, and that is really cool. The only problem is I wanted to close off the area behind so you couldn't see through it. So I've had to put in a bunch of cobblestone around it at the back here, which has created these actual like little pillars around here, but it actually still looks pretty cool. Now on the top, guys, you have uh, more wood here, spruce wood. Actually, this is dark oak because the dark oak goes well with the spruce logs. Capped it off again with polished andesite. I think that's a really good capping block for pillars. And then we just have this alternating slab and wall thing at the top here to give it a little bit more feature. And the best part about this, guys, is the uh, cobblestone stairs with a fence under it holding up the lanterns. I think that is really cool. One more thing I'd like to tell you guys about the wall is you can actually switch in random pieces of wall here, different walls. Like let's take the stone brick wall, for instance. You can place that in there. It looks pretty odd, but you can do it, and it probably does work much nicer with the mossy. I don't like it in this wall, but you can do it. And for the last two walls, guys, these are just small concepts to get the ideas flowing for you as well. Let's finish off with some high society walls. So if you were rich, you'd probably want to build your walls out of quartz, I suppose. I have no idea. But anyways, you can take the quartz pillars here. You can take the new quartz bricks. Well, they're not that new anymore, but they're still new to me. Um, and you can take some stairs, give it a bit of a, a rounded look here, make it flat, flatter at the bottom, and again, Cap them off with a nice block. In this case, I've gone for smooth quartz. I think that looks nice. And if we move on to this last one, this one is also just a concept, but I actually think this could work very well. And so we just have a bunch of quartz on the bottom pillars, and then you want to use the chiseled quartz here, surrounded by half block gaps. And that is the thing that makes this wall stand out. On the back here, it's actually kind of hard to tell, but I have stripped birch logs behind there. And uh, I think that looks really, really cool. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if it was helpful, please hit that like button. It would help out the channel a bunch. And also subscribe if you haven't yet. That would be fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.